Hello, I'm Ellen Rogers, editor of U.S. Glass Magazine, and welcome to the April edition of the U.S. GNN newscast. The COVID-19 virus has impacted all of us in some way, and that includes our video production. As you can see, I'm filming this over Zoom from my home. But we're still here for you this month, and we're taking a look at how companies are keeping busy despite the pandemic. Let's start in Tampa, Florida, where the sanctuary, a 17-story condo, is currently under construction. Designed by Tim Clemens, principal of Place Architecture in St. Petersburg, Florida, the tower features one unit per floor, and each home is designed to offer 360-degree views. Hourglass technology supplied and installed their slim-packed frameless impact windows. Company Vice President Angela Rivera said they took all the necessary precautions to continue working on the job. Actually, we're, we're fortunate in that uh, being in Florida and being construction uh, categorized as uh, an essential business, um, what it did affect was how we did our work um, because obviously with social distancing, um, we had to maintain our distances, make certain that we were using the proper PPE, uh, as well as uh, providing for our, for our installers um, the mechanisms for, uh, you know, sanitizing and uh, just making sure they were doing everything they were supposed to be doing. Uh, but it never really affected our, uh, our day-to-day activity other than uh, being extra cautious uh, and making sure that we were providing uh, the necessary equipment for safety. A job site like this where you're uh, you're on a multi-story building, and it's not readily available to have water or anything to wash your hands. And what we were finding was that uh, our guys were just using sanitizers to, cl- to clean their hands. Uh, so uh, one of the guys in the shop came up with the idea of you know, using a, a five-gallon bucket and putting a spigot on the end of it and buying Gojo so that they can wash their hands. And uh, they made up kits for all the job sites. Tampa-based Rhino Glass is about 60% finished with the installation of architectural windows and storefront glazing. We also heard from them about the measures they're taking as well. Yeah, so I would echo, obviously, a lot of what Angelo uh, just said. You know, it's, it's a little bit challenging to keep the, uh, the six-foot rule uh, while you're trying to set glass panels. I think one thing that allowed us to create some separation is the use of some material handling equipment. Um, like a robotic manipulator really created an opportunity to, to create some distance and some space rather than having a lot of guys huddling together and trying to, um, trying to move that heavy material um, as a you know, collective effort. I think it's no, no shock to anyone that you know, construction sites aren't the most uh, cleanly uh, areas or, or clean workspaces, if you will. But I, what I hope comes from this is uh, people start to realize that there are ways to uh, maintain a cleaner uh, construction site, a cleaner job site, and put different procedures in place to uh, make sure that the workers uh, are safe. In Texas, the work also continues for Admiral Glass. Senior Vice President Jason Merritt says they have a backlog of about 30 projects, all in stages of construction from contract to installation. These include multifamily, higher education and healthcare, as well as some interior projects. Despite the pandemic, Merritt says work has not slowed down. Revisions to drawings and updated budgets are still happening at a normal pace. He thinks this is a good sign that once the crisis is over, construction will continue to progress. Admiral Glass is also following social distancing measures to make sure employees stay healthy. These include staggering breaks and lunch hours, so a few people congregate at once. To learn more about how the glass industry is responding to COVID-19, Look to the April issue of U.S. Glass Magazine, which features an in-depth report on how companies are responding to the pandemic. You can also look to usglassmag.com for our podcast series. Thanks so much for watching, and please stay well.